Leaders are often rated or judged not just by their successes but by their failures. It is even worse when the political fires are lit by oneself or they even go farther by digging their own diplomatic trenches. We are talking about the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Back at home, Trudeau is facing backlash for declining popularity. Add to that the recent uproar over the Parliament Speaker honouring a Nazi soldier. While the Speaker Anthony Rotta may have resigned, Justin Trudeau is still facing a barrage of questions over that incident. Here's a report. Canada and its growing reputation as a place, uh, as a safe haven for terrorists, for extremists. Has there ever been a greater diplomatic embarrassment in the history of our country? The Speaker of the House took the fall and the Prime Minister continues to blame everyone Absolutely. else. The days when a few nations set the agenda and expected others to fall in line are over. It's crises galore for the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Battling one problem after another, the leader is under intense pressure for failing to provide any proof a week after his controversial accusation. Last week, Trudeau accused New Delhi of involvement in the killing of a Khalistani terrorist. This has irked New Delhi, as it should, but that's not all. On the domestic front, his popularity is plunging. And now there's another diplomatic firestorm over honouring a Nazi soldier in the parliament. But true to his style of deflecting blame, the Canadian Prime Minister first blamed the Russians and later made the House Speaker resign. This was deeply embarrassing for the House and for Canada. Um, it is a good thing uh, that Speaker Rota apologized personally and I'm sure he's reflecting now on how to ensure the dignity of the House going forward. But hold on, let's look at these images again. Justin Trudeau was very much present then, giving a standing ovation in the House of Commons. Trudeau is under intense pressure from the opposition for shirking responsibilities. He says he's not responsible for our diploma diplomatic reputation, even though that is precisely the job of the head of government. Like when he says he's not responsible for the inflationary spending that led prices and interest rates to rise faster than at any time in history. He's not responsible for housing costs doubling after he promised to lower them. He's not responsible for dressing up in racist costumes so many times he can't remember. That's all Canadians yep. that needed to learn a lesson from his personal conduct. And now he says he's not responsible to vet the very people that come into contact with a visiting head of state. Is it that he's not responsible or that he's irresponsible? Canada's Nazi gate scandal has snowballed beyond its control. House of Commons Speaker Anthony Rota's resignation from his post has failed to contain the growing criticism Canada is facing across the globe. The Speaker of the House took the fall and the Prime Minister continues to blame everyone Absolutely. else. A full-blown international embarrassment for our country, for our allies and for everything this nation did to defeat the Nazis. An actual Nazi invited to the House of Commons, welcomed and celebrated as a hero and a government that vetted everyone here. Shame. The PM has called Canadian citizens Nazis. Will he muster the courage and stand up on his feet today and take responsibility? Yaroslav Hunka served in the 14th Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS during the Second World War. The SS, or Schutzstaffel, was the armed unit of Hitler's Nazi party. Right before the end of the Second World War, the 14th Grenadier Division was renamed as the 1st Ukrainian Division. Members of the division were accused of killing Jewish and Polish civilians. But after the war, around 600 of its troops were allowed to settle in Canada. There was fierce opposition against letting the Nazi veterans inside from the Canadian Jewish Congress at the time. But the warnings were ultimately ignored, as the division soldiers had volunteered not because of a love for the Germans, but because of their hatred for the Russians and the communist tyranny. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.